or Japanese. English, English, please. Oh, it's voice acted? No, it's not. It's just a di it's just a dialogue for like, oh, you want to read this in Japanese or read this in English? I was gonna say, why the fuck's that even an option for the English version of the game? It's a visual novel. I don't know. Let's see. What should we name this? Wait, you know? we actually have a choice this time. Uh, Tatsuya. I was gonna say Travis, no. but no. okay. I really like the name Matsuda. I don't know why. Ma. That's why I can be like, damn it, Matsuda. So... <laughs> Oh, it's fucked up. This game is a detective game, so you can do that voice when all you want. Dude, like, if it wasn't, like, if cultural appropriation didn't exist, I would totally name a kid Matsuda. I don't know why I like that name. Council government. Special administrative read. Oh, by the way. Uh, chat, just in case. In case you all don't know, this is a VN. So, um, don't expect a lot of gameplay here. And because of it, if y'all feel like it, uh, you can have this easily playing in the background. You can always have this playing in the back of your car or on your phone or just anyone have something in the background. Think of this as um, as if you're listening to an ebook or an audio drama. Or a podcast. Yeah. Anyway, have you ever read a book? Good. You've played a visual novel. So, get some popcorn or put this in the background while you're working. So, and just enjoy the show or enjoy the read. Before we start, I just have a question for our comments section, because I read those things. Okay. Okay, comments. What's your favorite book, visual novel, or podcast? I must know this information. And why for must... For research purposes. Why must you know this information? I like finding good shit to read. A bunch of swearing and weird shit, isn't it? 100%, because, um... Suda51 does love his swearing. Anyways, let's read this. Content and government. Report, no man here has done anything else besides the Wii. Switch and PC. Oh, they did. Okay. Console government. Special administrative region. 24 wards. In accordance with the increasing population, it has been segmentalized into five areas. Among the inhabitants, selected by public vote, 80% are poor and 20% are wealthy, creating a rift in the economic strata. The most outstanding source of conflict among the classes is caused not by the difference in income, but by the discord between those with easy access to information and those without. This is burnt. What the fuck? Number of crimes has skyrocketed, and the information is propagated using news, shows, and communication intelligence network as media. Population of a uh, hundred thousand people. Mayor Hachisuka enters his fifth term of the office. The Metropolitan Police Department's heinous crimes unit is an organization that immediately eradicates transmittable crimes. It is a group of experts coordinated by Chief Special Agent Shinji Kotobuki. And yeah, they eradicate all those trans crimes that they don't commit because trans people are dope. <laughs> it is a group of experts coordinated by Chief Special Agent Shinji Kotobuki, an investigator who made a name for himself with the Silver Case. Dude, one of these days I'm going to piss off our LGBTQ plus community by complete accident. Yeah. You already did that before. Silver Case. <laughs> Head and former regional special agent, also known as the man who arrested Kamui, 24 Area 2nd Heinous Crimes Division Special Agent Tetsuguro Kusab Kusabe Kusabe is on his way home. Tetsuguro Kusabe, age 44. Happened one night. Dead of winter. I read that as in the dead of a writer. I'm like, who died? You know, for a VN, making this game run at 60 FPS feels like overkill. January 29th, 1999. Friday, Kusabi's car. 7.32 p.m., heading home. What is this? Fucking lullaby. <sighs> Fucking radio. Playing with a bunch of shit. Right, as you can see, it's already a lot of swearing. This is the world's best radio station. Fucking radio. All sex, all the time. Is this radio... Is this road really this long? It's like this. Weird shit happens. It's just the way it is. I think I'm making a new series called Dramatic Narrations of Playthroughs, and I'm like, that sounds like a good idea where I just describe my playthrough in a dramatic way. <laughs> <laughs> Show up your own playthrough and be like, 
I did this to make sure the Hydra died. Yeah, it's like I read it just dramatically. A dramatic retelling of my playthrough of said game. <laughs> I can always do the voiceover if you want. Yeah. What? I got a bad feeling. Real bad feeling. Oh, shit. Meanwhile, on road, it looks like it was rendered on a PS2. PS1, actually. PS1. Oh! What the fuck? Man? Hello, we are calling about your guy's extended warranty. What the hell is that? <gasps> okay. Jesus. Oh, I took a shot. That what is fucking Japan? Pump. What is with Japan's love of six shooting revolvers? I don't know. It's cool. Like those are even like common issue for Japanese police. And it's interesting. Oh, dude, we could definitely do a dubbing of this. Imagine like we just get a bunch of friends over, and just dub this game. That's sick. That punk is crazy. That punk. Oh. Your yeah. Oh, his ass is going down for sure. Oh, that's some that's some chunky PS1 BNGs right there. Oh shit, my car screen. I knew I shouldn't have bought in a Jeep. Excuse me. Anybody there? Respond. Want to do this it? This is Hachika. Hachi so Hachi Bitch, this is this is Hachi Suka. Where's Sumio? He fucking left? Jeez, are you deaf? <sighs> he just says, oh, like, oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, God. Something happened? She seems like she's a bitch. Now the gun just fired shots and fled into the River and E District. Calling the closest units. I like the way this is animated. Uh, where to? Like, any fucking directions, you idiot? Set in West and E3. E3 at the Gaming Expo? Uh, fucking got it. We'll pinpoint him from here. Also, uh, if they're showing off fucking Battlefield 40 2045, uh, I want fucking gameplay footage, you ass. <laughs> got it. We'll pinpoint him from here. Have you been injured? Nope. Dodge the slug. Watch the Riz right by. Huh? Nothing yet. Got it. Where? It's within our gender. Is it within our jurisdiction? Hold on. Are we safety? Those cover off guys? Not some these guys, huh? Okay, call them in. Got it. By the way, I went out with those guys for margaritas last week and it was fucking fabulous. Oh, shit. Shit. TGIF my ass. I love that fucking song. Still on the radio with him. Now this one doesn't. This isn't a high concept one, right? It's just most of reading. It's a point and click, so it probably is a high concept one. No pinpoint yet. If I get pinpointed, cauliflower. Private railroad satellite. Perfect place to lie low. Gonna rush to the spot. There's no location not to make for me. Got it. Wait, railroads? Railroad satellite? What? I, I don't know if I read that wrong. I can't check. I don't know if I can. No, but you read it right. Is it like a satellite for the radio? Or are they referring to like one of those circular tracks where probably just car switch? Chapter one: Lunatics. Oh, it might have been radio satellite. You read it as railroad satellite. Rail satellite. First man, 24 wards. Kaoru Hachisuka. Launched the government's anti-conflict reforms. The Department of Communications and Department of Finance structured around the former TRO. The Department of the Environment and Departure of Investment structured around the former CCO. He fostered the sweeping organizational reforms to success. The Department of Security and the Central Police Department's Anus Crimes Division. Former TRO faction, Public Security Department's Secret Security Division, former CCO faction, was comprised of two separate factions. No shit. 
Public Safety Department to compete with the Heinous Crimes Division established the Republic Special Forces Unit to handle secret security cases. Silver Case, head and former Regional Investigation Unit Investigator Daigo Natsume, was offered the position of commander. Natsume then scouted Sakamoto in Amada and Matsuda for the unit. For the Republic's first campaign, they ironically run into the Heinous Crimes Division. Natsume and Kusubi's fates intertwine. The dark clouds of the Silver Case loom. Man, Natsume really got busy after they stopped developing Harvest Moon. A long night ahead. A long night lies ahead for Daigo Natsumi. One person's gonna get that in the comments, and it's gonna be hilarious. Yep. <sighs> Harvest Moon's weird. Apparently, the original developers make shit ones now, and like the new developers make good ones. It makes no sense. Yeah. So 15 a.m. Dispatch. I wonder how crunchy you can make these models. Jurisdiction detective is already en route to the scene. Cauliflower. Why well, do I have a feeling this game was on 3DS at some point? No, it wasn't. Target is, it a, like it was. Target is a, a cauliflower in E3. Currently close to the scene. Can you pretend we just happened upon the scene? Confirm the target and made the decision to get us involved. That means this is a secret security authorized case. Given our movements under wraps is our top priority. But unfortunately, a jurisdiction detective happened upon the scene. Made things a bit difficult. We need to keep the amount of info left that let out at a minimum. At a minimum. They come into contact with the detective, but avoid any unnecessary contact at all costs. Chief, well contact with the rage of level W or higher. Skulls will be a problem. Got the level Y or below. Got it. Wait, you say chief? I'll, I'll explain the plan simply. Save questions for afterwards. Hang on. Armament of level X or below has been. I didn't mean to steal this from you. Oh, that's fine. You can have them actually. Has been approved. What you carry is up to you. After entering Cauliflower in E3, lead the target to Cauliflower Room. Proceed with the spokes. That is all. Any questions? Chief, how should we carry out disposal? I'll leave that up to you. I'll provide remote support. <sighs> What if capture is possible? I believe I said that this was a secret security authorized case. You need me to explain further, you adult. That will not be necessary. Anything else? That is all. If because it's your first real fight, doesn't mean you need to over be overly vigilant. He who masters his own mind smiles again. Stay relaxed, you reach the sea. Yamada, can you calm down? I'm gonna lose my shit here. Force it back down. Can't. I just cutting me off, man. You can't force it down and at least control yourself. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna lose my shit here. It's all over. Okay. Backseat he smells like shit now. Look, I'm scared too, to be honest, man. My first time in the flesh, you know. Sorry, but let me focus, man. It's totally different from training. Remember Matsuda? Training maneuvers up north. It's the first time you shot real bullets, yeah? This isn't the first time for me. Back when I was in the syndicate, old school bullets. Give them to me that takes Ibaki's head off. Guys, I wear a monitor to the point that they might blow your goddamn hand off. I thought my life away, so I didn't care. I don't know what would have happened. 
I'm assuming that they're using, since they're using the word goddamn, that this is rated M. Yep, 100%. Well, they said fuck in the beginning, so. Yeah, but usually those two words are reserved for rated M games. Think about Normally. It, think about it now, being young, shivering full of hope. Ah, uh, it didn't matter then. Young, old, whatever. I got handed a piece and jumped in like a maniac. Just popping caps all over the place. I missed every shot. All of a sudden, I was surrounded. Ten guns pointed right at me. That's when I first met the chief. Why'd he choose me? I put my life in his hands and he took me in. Same for you too. I am Matsuda. Picked up by the chief. I'm Mata too. Don't think about your own life. Believe in him. We'll carry out our lives. Put our hope in him. Don't forget it. God, I keep underestimating just how good of a writer Suda51 is. <laughs> like, he's a really good writer. No, underestimating. Because he's a really good writer. So basically... Uh, what were we going to say? So they're going after dudes in a building or something. Maybe. That's probably the case. Arrivals, 12.29 a.m. The music in this game is great, though. I love his car. He looks sick. That's or a Dodge something. Probably heavily inspired by a Dodge no, Charger. A heavily inspired by one, probably. That's a Camaro, I think. Where's Natsume? <laughs> My brother used to have a charger. It was nice. 2016. We're arriving at. Oh, it's you. We'll be arriving at Cauliflower in E3 soon. Low key, this story is, this story is already super interesting by now. Right? Like, it, it feels like it's gonna be yeah. good. Something like that. Hmm. <sighs> <sighs> fully animated. You shouldn't hard. Isn't that a good thing? Oh, it is a good thing. We'll decide on formation after entry. I'll get instructions from HQ over the radio. You guys are basically like guinea pigs. Refrain from acting arbitrarily and prioritize the collection of sample data. Any questions? That's all. Okay, sync your watches. Sakamoto, count us down. Got it. I like how the guy looks American, yet they named him Sakamoto. Yeah, it is like American. Got it. Count down to zero. Count down to normal time. Don't forget. This is not an exercise. You need to remember that this is the real thing. Again, this is an actual fight. Come back alive. That is all. Don't die. Good luck. <sighs> Guinea pigs, huh? What a way to win them over. Soldiers. Are they not to maze you? Not to me. Yeah, I think he's you. So. No. So it was you. I heard you were back in the feet. Me too, right? It's like one final gamble to me. I 
I don't gamble. Or is this a girl? It's Natsume. Natsume's a guy. Oh. I don't gamble. I'm in a self-defense unit. What about you, Kasu Kusumi? Sorry. Sorry, that thing up. It's a silver case. It's crime junior, huh? Uh, I thought you'd come to. If you can meet up like this. I can never go back there again. I'm not as strong a man as you, Kusabe. Kusabe. It's not about that. Because the old man could use you. That's strength. Being young and all. Just like your soldiers. Also got young ones to take over. Next generation. Still plenty of shit you gotta show them. Who's to be? Not to me. It's not just us anymore. Don't overwork yourself. Still got a long ways to go. That may be true. Hey, how's soccer doing? Just turned 22. Should have graduated in college this year. Uh, I think it's so big. How is she? She become a proper woman yet? She takes after my wife. Real stubborn. You know how she is. She's not a little girl anymore. That's a good thing. She acts like she hates you. God, you're still more precious than anything. Really? Chief, moving in. Okay. Sakamoto going first. Then Inomata and Matsuda. Got it. I like how it, Dude, you know what he reminds me of? Who? Captain Price. Bit, yeah. Yeah, it's the mustache that gives it away. It's not nostalgia for now. I'll back you guys up too. Thanks. I like how serious the story is. Like we have I like how we're both actually invested. Like we haven't been making jokes at all. Yeah, I'm usually like Making a character gay and or a robot at this point. But the story is like, it's taking itself like super seriously, so it's like we're actually invested. <laughs> it's basically a war zone. Cauliflower, first floor. This is not to me. Do you read me? Oh, Natsume is the chief. Yeah. Loud uh, and clear. I read him in the wrong voice. Inamata and Masada are both okay. I'll forward you to set points. Get on your respective points and get info formation. Got it. Matsuda, calm down. Wait for my orders. Stay in position. Inomana, do you read me? The obstacles in front of you create a blind spot. Make sure you get make sure to get proper confirmation. Don't forget that the perp is on. Or you'll get yourselves killed. I know. Nice. Stop fucking around, you idiot. You're in the nucleus of the 24th Ward's private railroad. Innocent civilians are going to... Uh, hang on. Innocent civilians are going to get killed if you start shooting like a maniac. 
Got it. Fakamoto, go ahead in. Relieve, relieve Matsuda. Got it. Matsuda, listen up. There's a plate up ahead of you. Check it out. I have a second floor, Chief. There's someone shooting outside my house. Jesus. Wait, don't move yet. Like some shooting, you said? Eh, probably just some dude getting wanted to fire off guns for no reason. Got it. Okay. Matsura, get moving. It'll take some time before you can get used to the controls. And it'll seem complicated at first. But don't worry. You'll get used to it. Am I giving a tutorial in a fucking sergeant voice? I think you are. <laughs> That's the case. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I'm yeah. into it. Yeah. It'll get easy quickly. When the menu opens, set command rising to M and press the X button. Sir, what's the X button? Shut the fuck up, Matsa. Use the directional <laughs> buttons to move. Oh god! What are directional buttons? <laughs> What the fuck? Okay. Oh my god! Oh, so this game essentially makes it like you're part of a SWAT team. That's cool. I don't even know where I'm going. Can you pinpoint the utility point? What the fuck is that sentence? Okay, go. Yamada, so your movement's over this way. Got it. Forwarding now. It's finished. Got it. Entering color operation. I'll explain the commands. So it's an RPG. Not really, it's just turn it's point and click, remember? M is for movement. How you move around. Press the X button to move quickly. Use it well. C is contact. Use this to touch stuff. When you see the sun symbol in front of you. You see. I is for implement. This is for tools. I'll let you work out where to use it. Oh, this is very much like uh, Zero Escape 2. S is for save. This is for records. You may save on at any point. Yeah. I already did. Try saving once. As I said earlier, it may be complicated. You can do it, Matsu. I believe in you. That is all. Okay, I don't know if you're old enough to remember this, but remember what, like, really old consoles pre-360 when you didn't have a memory card and the game makes you try and save? Yeah. That shit was annoying. Matsu, check the plate. Make contact with, front, with the front of the plate. The plate is to the north. Eh. There's some weird ass controls. Implement gun. Implement gun. Just shoot it. Mata! What the fuck are you doing? Don't shoot it! Foresight! No, but seriously, I have not played this game. I just figured. Sorry, I forgot something. During movement, you can press the triangle button to make direct contact. Try using it gradually. Wait, so let me see if I got these controls correct. You use the D-pad to switch what you're in, how you're interacting, 
and then the joystick to move, I presume? Right? Look, at, look at the bottom right. This is really weird. So, this plate isn't for the coke. Okay. Maybe it's for real estate authentication. Looks like it. Chief, found a switch. Probably the light. Turn it off. Hold on, let me blow my nose. Got it. Moxa. There should be a control panel. Okay, my nose is not stuffy. Let's go. Inamara, what's up? Be right back. I think I saw someone up above. I'm going in ahead. Wait, don't act on your own. So hey Chad, how y'all doing? Like, don't worry Chad, it's important. I'm sending in this man something very important. Here it is. Here you go. I sent you something. It's alright, JK. You're good. For Discord, I assume? Yeah. Look at it. Right, hang on. I'll be right back again. <laughs> yes, everyone loves roots. Especially going back to your roots. The roots of your family tree. The roots of the trash. The roots of... I guess your penis, but hey, 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 never know. Look at the peen. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I assume I was Crash Bandicoot. I'm back. What? I made JK assume I was Crash Bandicoot or some shit. What'd you do? Uh, I, my body was starting to pass out a bit, so I thought I started making Crash Bandicoot noises. Oh. Inomata, a... I'm going to move for move you forward to the target point. Don't go too far. We won't. Got it. Thank you. It's gonna be okay. I don't care. If anyone's in a hurry to die, I won't stop them. Got it. Moxa, about the control panel. During movement, use look hard and you'll find it. Get on it. How about it, Moxa? You understand? I'll check. Not yet. Probably something that will change the structure. For the Christian coding part. Until we work it out, don't mess with it. Matsuda, I'm gonna back up Inomata. Going up. Come with me. Oh my god. That's an actual code. So it's having you solve a puzzle here, I'm assuming. What the hell? I mean, if the code's not ass, I don't know what it is. Well, I don't know anything yet. I 
Let me shoot it. Alright, let me save real quick. Yes, it's prawn. Totally fine, right? On. do I do here? Oh no, the signal's getting bad. Oh no. Not the squig, no. Huh. What the hell? <laughs> Bored. Good old porn. Damn it, Matsudo, you're looking at porn in there. I want to see it. Wait a minute, second floor through the door. Okay. Did you pull up a walk for already? Can I oh, never mind, I just have to move forward. Okay. I didn't know you just have to move forward. They had to in inspect it. Cauliflower, second floor. Sakamoto. I can't pinpoint Inomata. This room is using an absorber. Absorber? Like an anti-jamming device? Seems like it. So the data says. Designated as a structure of unknown use. This sort of accident was to put this sort of accident was to be expected. So what about Inomata? Wait, so are we trying to collect data or are we trying to go arrest the guy? We're trying <laughs> we're, I think we're trying to arrest the guy and trying to like make sure we don't die. I'll be right back. Got it. Coming. I feel like you make a good, uh, green arrow. I don't know why. Uh, yeah. I wonder what that bad about as well. The code input is complicated. But don't worry. You've already got the info required to unlock the door. Ow! Internet. A text string needs to be decrypted. But unfortunately, we don't have the password yet. Um, my kilobits is rising, so it should be working now. Just gotta wait for it to fix itself. First, find the password. Funny the tutorial password was password. I think it's on my end. Yeah, it's on my end, I think. It's been cloudy. So maybe it's probably the weather. I'll check the right. You go check the door on the left. All right, but, okay. Contact point. Wait, where do you find the actual cipher key, though? No, it's just you gotta know the cipher. It's you. It uses Caesar cipher. Man, I knew this game was. These puzzles were gonna be weird. No, but what is a Caesar cipher? Oh, look it up. Look up what's a Caesar cipher. Oh, 
Oh, I could just press that. Never mind. I was wasting my time. Let's do this. I actually figured that out. The subject area computer science sees the cipher as a classic example of intricate cryptography that involves shifting each letter of a plain text message by a certain number of letters. You got a portable control I'm gonna get it, panel. But know... Wait, I'm confused, but how did you know where that stuff was? Or what the code was? It did it automatically. I found the thing. <laughs> Did it, Matsuda. Do this door next. Open your eyes. My guess is it must be an instant win thing. Well, let me look up something real quick. If this game has multiple endings, this is gonna suck. It probably does, must be ends do. Does the silver case good old replayability. have multiple endings? 100 endings! 100 endings? But they're probably impossible. They're joke endings. But what's the actual. So only one of those endings is the actual ending. Yeah. Out of the 101. So that so means we're we... Be struggling forever to find the actual ending. Oh! Matsuda, what's up? Help me up. So there's Survivor. Heart rate is normal. She needs to be okay. Wait, so we gotta find a single one ending out of a hundred endings? Yep. She seems to be okay. Keep her warm and she should be fine. Huh. Oh! It's okay. I'm getting to rescue you. You're gonna be okay. Don't worry. Stay calm. We're here to help you. Everything is fine now. Don't worry. I'm gonna help. I'll protect you. Just stay calm. This is dangerous. So if she comes down, don't let her move. Matsuda, I'm gonna go help you, Namada. Let's hurry to the third floor. I think it's my weather. That's probably it. I think it's my weather. All right. Hey, 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 hey. What? Nothing, just a cipher. Look, I'm pretty far from okay. Hair pretty bad. Uh, just a bit. Give me my goddamn arm. You fall back. You win your own? Yeah. I force it. Force it. It's not very nice. I'm injured, you know? I got on your own. I got no sympathy for you. Get back up now. There's a survivor on the second floor. Get her out of there now. Got it. You heard him, Matsuda. Go on downstairs. Our guy's in the back. He's pretty fucked up. I think he's not afraid to die. Oh. It's more like he's enjoying the risk of death. <laughs> he's laughing. The fact that he's about to get killed. 
laughing all cynically like that. Can't accept his own death. Typical criminal. Matsuda, kill the motherfucker. Don't even let the world know this guy exists. Just dispose of his ass. Hey. Damn. Sakamoto, are you listening? That's the job. This guy's pretty stiff. Not a problem. I don't screw around. I'm falling back. Sakamoto, Matsuda, it's up to you guys. What is up with my signal? Hold on, let me check something. Uh, Sakamoto, he's like getting he's like getting angry now. What it's so over. <laughs> what it's over. Okay. It's been reformatted. Yamada, do you read me? Yamada? Respond! Son of a bitch! Again? Just gonna roll with it. I'll go back down and revert the control panel. This has been restored. Open this up. Be ready. Oh, is it that original thing you had to find the password for? It's locked. Inamata, respond. Inamata, where are you? Answer me. Matsuda, something's wrong. Can't find Inamata or the woman. No sign of them. Everything okay there? It's locked. Get the lower floor. Moving on. Control panel. I'll fix it. Restoration complete. Uh, it's no good. Password's been changed. It's like you switched it on us. We're screwed. He's hearing me correctly. Our internet, sh the stream should be working just fine now. Hey. Yeah, it's full of green bars everywhere. I think it was just a temporary hiccup. Matsuda, don't rush ahead. Fuck you, I do what I want. Just get shot. That'd be funny. Cauliflower roof. Cauliflower rooftop. All right, let's do this. Come on, motherfucker! This is Natsume. Matsura. I've got you locked. Oh, he's gonna try and snipe the target. I haven't found the target. He may be hiding in a blind spot. Move with caution. What happened to Sakamoto and Inomata? Have they gone in for backup? Roof has proper handles. I hate more prawn. It's not prawn this time, actually. I like prawn. Collect the second comic meme. Cool. We start calling porn prawn every time we mention it. That'd be funny. Move caution. Oh, it's you. Oh. Wait, so the government set up the entire country's broadband? We're here, we have, uh,. When internet came out out here, it was all done via private companies, like 
You have to like call your broadband provider and have them set everything up. It still is that way. Dialogue, like, as man. I said before, I had to switch from. Oh. Don't do anything stupid. Oh. Yeah, I had to switch from one provider to another, and I had to rehook it up. Huh? What happened? She only a child's head. Oh. Help me! 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 Are we dealing with ghosts? Are we dealing with ghosts? Sounds like it. Could be why this is called the silver case. Matsura, leave that for now. I have to go do something with that prawn you found. Got it? Don't fuck this up. No, if you excuse me, I have to go look at that prawn you found. Stop talking, dialogue. The target is hiding close by. I keep trying to make a closing joke and it has more dialogue. Yeah, she reminds me of, like, 3DS stuff. Let's see, what are we dealing with? Like, the 3D gives me SMT4 vibes. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Kill you, I did. Kill you, kill you. I didn't do anything. I'd kill, kill you. I'll kill you, I'll kill you, I'll kill you. That woman. Matsura, fire! Don't hesitate. Shoot the motherfucker! Rebel, 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 don't kill me. Rebel, 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 I really don't want to do this. Real gamer, real gamer, real gamer, real gamer. I don't want to do this, I don't want to do it, 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 I don't want to do it. What a sick fuck. Excuse me, but... Spells under our jurisdiction. Don't knock without a permission. Yeah, they were seeing real gamer. <laughs> I suppose they have fake gamers. Am I right? You hear that from Natsume? Is that it, Natsume? She has nothing to do with this. All the disposal rights for this target. Doesn't concern you. So this is how you want to handle it. This isn't a fucking high school, Natsumi. What you wanted to do? Hmm? Answer me, bitch! Chief, who is this asshole anyway? The Kotobuki Syndicate. Kotobuki? Oh, drop the shitty nicknames, man. It's 24 Ward's heinous crimes unit. Same as you, assholes. Wait, I think it's coded. No, no, it's not A. Center. Like a disposal surface. So does that mean it's supposed to be okay, Chief? Some one of your standings should probably shut the fuck up now. <laughs> like how it's like <laughs> there's so much swearing out of nowhere. Like Jesus, Dude, I'm just like into this character. Like it's I... so natural the dialogue I'm spewing. Yeah, it's like, like that's one thing about Suda 51 I enjoy is that he somehow managed to make the wacky dialogue fit somehow, make it feel natural, and it's amazing. <laughs> By the way, Chad, if you want to see more of me with this voice, I'm in a, I'm in a Batman audio drama by Gelbert Productions, I believe. Just look up DC Dylan interview. I'll be there. It's the guy you cut off your lead. how it is. I'll clean things up here. Hey, baby face. You there. That looks like a chin. <laughs> that looks like a chinchilla. <laughs> chinchilla. Yeah, try like being, try voicing him more smug. Almost like, you know, Shikamaru's voice from Naruto. Hey, look. You there. The one looks like a chinchilla. Like that. There we go. You mean Matsuda? the fuck should I know? The chinchilla. What the hell didn't you fire? You frozen in fear or something? I'm not being a dick. You just said you want to learn voice acting. You're gonna get your ass killed. 
Listen, Chinchilla. My face is burning this guy's eyeballs. Pieces of shits are fucked in the head. Don't even. It's like the tenth F word in the like prologue so far. So don't even leave a bit of skull. Let them the fuck off this place. Let them the fuck off this plane of existence. I'm the real gamer. Jeez, Jesus Christ, man! Who shot who? And this guy just fucking shot the corpse over and over. Man's just said, don't even leave the brain. Proceeds to mag dump his face. Oh my god. He just looks like, he just looks like a fucking monster from Dead Space. Dude, it's amazing. <laughs> fucking bro. He just fucking magged up in the face. Like, why? Uh, what the fuck? Did I just hear gunshots? Why the hell does the victim look like fucking... Scissor hands over there. <laughs> trying to think of an analogy. He has them too, straight no. edge. Why does the victim look like he's in a... He, wait, why the fuck does the victim look like he come from, came from a Junji Ito comic? <laughs> That's better. He could be much, so much more efficient with a sledgehammer. Fuck <laughs> 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 oh, off. No. Oh, I love Suda51's writing. It makes everything so morbid. You listen up too, straight face. Or straight edge. What are we disposing of these guys? Yeah. Why are we supposed to see disposing of these guys? Any idea? The hunger shortage, we have to eat them. They're criminals. So? This guy's a killer. Let's <sighs> at this child, this bullshit. You got a funny guy, not to me. Get some really unique shit. Listen up. You said shit. Twice in the same paragraph. That's bad writing. Disposal means cutting these motherfuckers out of this world. Get rid of their very existence so nobody ever has to see them again. This crime virus is spreading around. Cut it off at the source. Wait, 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 wait. So, is this a zombie virus that makes people commit crimes? No, essentially it's like he sees crime itself as a virus. Damn it, and here I thought this was gonna be cool. Oh, it probably is. Don't worry, it's gonna get weird. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I'm like, damn it, that'd be a cool concept. Kind of like a reverse psychopath. That's called Crossed, and it's and that mo and that comic is super edgy. Annihilation. Is Anni it? Yes, it is. It's written by Garth Ennis. Who does it? Dark Horse or DC? Garth Ennis. And it's written by the he, AKA the guy that writ the that wrote the boys comic. Oh, so the publisher's Dark Horse. That that makes sense. No, Dark, no, uh, Dynamite Comics was the boys, but yeah. See, here's what I do. Can I just talk about comics real quick? Yeah. Out of tangent. Let's do it. When it comes to DC and Marvel, Max you're going to get is PG-13. That's why I like, that's why most of the comics on my shelf are either by Dark Horse or third-party publishers. Well, they don't call the FCC's DC cool. has a, DC has like a black label comic, and those are the, usually the comics that are like fucked up. And yeah, they do. Like... They're a Vertigo line, which I want to get and read some of them, but they keep getting canceled and reprinted, and their price gets jacked up like Mad Men. Annihilation of the self. That's what we do. Tenacious. You guys take over from here. Watch your backs. Oh! You killed him, 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 you killed him. This is creepy motherfucker. This creepy motherfucker is at it again. Stop, 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 stop. Look, this is what crime brings. This is the demon brought on by the criminal powers. I'm not dead, 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 I'm not dead. Can you shoot him, Chinchilla? Can you take them on? Fire! Destroy this very moment. What the fuck? Why? Why would you leave us alone? We are finally able to be together. That woman is gone now. Leave us alone. I finally understand. I won't falter again. Bring the hammer. Bring the hammer down on these unforgivable bastards. Matsudo, get rid of them. 
please. Help me. I don't want to die. I just couldn't take that woman anymore. That's why I killed her. What's wrong with that? She got in my way. What's wrong with killing her? Fuck you! I'll kill you all too. I'll kill everyone. I'll kill you! Killing me will change nothing. Everything starts here. The, we, the devil will come upon us once again with the sound of the bells. We cannot die. We will have our vengeance. Then you will be re reborn. Together with Kam Kamui, the holy hunter. When Kamui returns, he will be the god of chaos. Kamui Uehara. So the sleeping lion has been awakened. This is gonna be a long journey. Oh no, I've seen that comic. Don't worry, I've seen how fucked up that can get. Also, this game's getting kind of fucked up too. Are we dealing with fucking cult shit? Lunatics. Decoy man is coming soon. Vanishing point. Yo, that was dark, man. <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, you still there? Yes, save the game. What the hell? Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that is cool, the way the menus work. That's like a radio. Let's do decoy, man. Let's do this. Number one, decoy, man. Uh, what happened when I was gone? Did we just get out of that cutscene? Yeah, a girl went insane. She's threatening the set, um, threatening of a guy named Kamui showing up out of nowhere, and uh, saying the devil will come to kill us all. You know, usual psychopath shit. Now we're at a batting center for some reason. This is chapter one, I think. Oh, that was the prologue. Yeah, Tetsu. Kamui's gonna make a move. Ah. Uh. How do you mean? Just gonna wake up. They have quite the variety of like different artwork in this game. Well, yeah, because the artist is talented as hell. Is that info from your like place? Like pixel art, 3D. Wait animation. a minute. Wait, Harakiri bat. <laughs> wait a minute. We're in the Harakiri bat <laughs> batting center. What? That fucking pun. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> Harakiri. So. So the suicide, so the suicide batting center. Oh my god! We were both thinking the same damn thing. Oh my god! Is it from, is it from your place? Motherfucker! No. I don't know that. Harakiri. What? Yeah, there's actually a suicide mechanic in one of the, in one of the Mortal Kombat's, and it was like Harakiri. It was great. Pocket. They actually brought that back. In the Mortal Kombat that introduced uh, Kotal Khan, and it's an Easter egg. It's really hard to do. I did it once, and I got an achievement for it. Nice. Fuck money. It's basically one of one of Kotal Khan's moves does damage to him, and it's the only move in the game that does it. So if you're at like no health and you do it, and you don't realize it'll perform the fatality and it'll fucking harakiri you. Oh, greedy. You get an achievement for it. Don't overestimate civil servants. Over time, but this quarter is getting cut. <sighs> Fine. Never mind then. <sighs> Son of a bitch. I'll shoot you ass dead where you stand. Okay.
kidding. I'm kidding. Jesus. It's a hunch. God, man. these policemen get along well, don't they? Yeah, they make death threats to each other all the time. <laughs> I mean, that's just a normal part of working a civil servant or retail shift. Yeah, you're you... not threat death threatening your employees, and what are you doing? Yeah, if you're not death threatening each other with murder, then how are you really friends? Yeah, right. <laughs> nah, we actually had a really shit like my manager sucked where I worked, but like the camaraderie between like the actual staff was pretty good. Got my wisdom teeth pulled, staff. right? That time. But one time. That was before the silver thing. And so what? You trying to tell me that your toothaches are supposed to be some sort of antenna for shit about to go down or something? Exactly. What kind of jerk off in this day and age believes that superstitious bullshit? Oh, at least you are bullshitting on two separate benches. They made sure to sit on two separate benches so nobody thinks they're gay. <laughs> two bros sitting on two benches. <laughs> Six feet apart, because they're not gay. Yes, they're not gay. <laughs> I love that meme uh, so much. I love how one of the members... Whenever we do a damn digital novel, we think of our best bits. Yes, because we have the time to think about it. That's the thing. We really do. Yeah, I love that meme, fucking meme so much. I'm so glad Anthony, a.k.a. one of the members of Smosh, the one of the brother brothers, was the one that made it. Oh, he's the one. Smosh is the one that made that. Yeah, Anthony. Something, something, something. Because they're not gay. Yeah, two bros sitting in a hot tub, six feet apart, because they're not gay. Because they're not gay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was Anthony. Anthony that made it. It was. It's great. Wait, I gotta find that original video real quick. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Go find it. Go find it. I gotta find it. <laughs> I didn't know that was Smosh that made that. No, really. And it was a Vine. That's where it was on. We gotta. But yeah, it was that Anthony. Was a vine. Yeah, it was Anthony that made it. It was at the peak of Vine. I uh, miss Vine. Yeah, and all the good memes. Oh, uh, really? I'm telling you, it's accurate. And you should believe it. And right about now, he's taking life slow in the clink. Probably even gone and reformed himself by now. Don't, don't underestimate what my teeth can do. I'm telling you, they got a knack for this kind of second sight. <laughs> okay, then. I believe you. I don't get it, but I believe you. So, what am I supposed to do now? Hmm. Hmm. Live action cutscene, here we come. Found it. <laughs> I don't know if it's Anthony Padilla that made it. Live action cutscene. What? Look. Oh, this is FMV as fuck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is some crunchy. That is crunchy right there. That is some crunchy FMV. Haraka Haraki batting next door to Sewer Side Gym. Oh. Sewer Side Gym. <laughs> okay, now that's kind of creepy. Uehara Kamui. Resident record control. I mean, they're all across the street from scalping haircuts. Resident record control number MSQ 1872665. Registered locality not available. Current address not available. Date of birth across not the available. road from Self Arm Station. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> and next, and and is neighboring to. Uh, Depression oh, Central. Right at, oh, right next to the right next to the Hang, the best bar in town. <laughs> Which is also next to the to the therapy clinic known as the Depressed. We should probably stop making suicide jokes. YouTube's gonna have a fit. Oh, don't worry. Uh, edgy jokes can get away with it. So with away with some stuff for now. We have limits, but okay. All points, bullets. I don't give a shit. It's YouTube that gives a shit. Number K one five nine seven seven eight three six. March, nineteen seventy nine. Central Police Designation Case, number QF eight six one. Down the road from no Kobe. Way. Down the road from Cobain Spa. <laughs> I don't get that one. Kurt Cobain. I'm not Gen Z enough. 
Kurt Cobain. He's from your era. He is? Yeah. He's I don't know the meme. Though. Nirvana. You know, when Kurt Cobain offed himself with a shotgun? Oh. I never heard of him doing that. Yeah, that's what I happened. I heard of the guy that, like, went to Simon Cowell's, for, or Paul Abdul's front line and shot It, was, in, it was a joke in Family Guy where apparently Stewie went back in time and stopped Kurt Cobain from um, self-deleting himself. Self-deleting himself. Just control of deleting himself. Like, he did it by giving them Hagen dazs That's how he stopped them. <laughs> I mean, you gotta go down the street to get to the Control-Alt-Delete Center. The best office in town. Yes. March 1979, Central Police Designation Case Number QF861, a.k.a. The Silver Case. Arrested. You made the equivalent of a fucking Game Grumps gag by making fun of the game. Yeah. Arrested during the commission of crime. August 1984. Received diagnosis of extremely high level mental disorders. Criminal trial cancelled. Well, yeah, considering the fact you're dealing with a psychopath. Ah, oh, my headphones gonna die. Hold on. So the book Fahrenheit 51 is a book about banning books, and it got banned. Next to Carradine Curry. So good you'll have to choke back tears. Carradine Curry. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Next to Chad Boswick's acting in acting school. <laughs> and right and and its favorite and the favorite terrorist spot is Epstein Island. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> who who did kill himself? He, he killed himself. <laughs> There is no body there. There are no children there as well. <laughs> Jesus, man. Decision made to apply special measures. I'm going to put a moratorium on a suicide jokes right now. <laughs> committed to the psych ward at IMM Hospital in 24 wards. Began counseling and general treatment. Length of periods unclosed. Look how dead their eyes are, man. It's insane. <laughs> Still better than most AI art. The criminal of legend awakens. March 27th. Dude, I was messing with an AI image generator today, and it made the most creepy image I've ever seen. March 27th, 1999. Continuing his treatment at IMM Hospital, Conway murders a hospital worker and escapes. The victim was Conway's personal counselor, Yuriko Sonoda. 26. The weapon was similar to a customized harpoon gun. Estimated time of death between 10 and 11 p.m. Some names were changed to protect the innocent. At that time, a tracking surveillance satellite in geostationary orbit began tracking the point representing Conway. Oh, so essentially, Conway is like a sleeper agent. He just woke up and is like, go do crime. At 11.50 p.m. of the same day, deployment of Public Security Department Special Forces Unit Republic was decided. At 11.45 p.m., Republic arrives at the woods in the Eve Ward, to which Conway has escaped. Operation Secure Conway begins. So she killed who now? No, he killed. By 11.55 p.m., Republic fails to secure Pakamui. Two killed in duty, two injured. It was past midnight at 12.38 a.m. on March 28th. The satellite's trek on the Kamui disappears. Kamui is assumed to have gone underground in an untrackable area. That's good. I was running out. I had the next place being normal, but it's down the road, then across the street. What? I am going to read that again. 24 Wards, Heinous Crimes, Unit 2 Special Agents. Tetsugoro Kusabi and Sumio Kodai head to the scene of the crime. IMM Hospital. Dude, my cat's been watching this whole thing intently. Decoy, man. Decoy man, decoy man, does whatever a decoy does. Can he take 12 bullets 
Yes, he can because he's a decoy, so who the fuck cares? He's decoy man. I still mean you didn't mute me during half that song. Nah, I didn't mute you, don't worry. You it would not mute me when I sing. It would have been funny though. <sighs> he fucking called it. Excuse me? Nah, it's nothing. Just talking to myself. Until yesterday, Kami Oihara was going to this usual curriculum at its isolation ward. Wait, who's this guy? He's a doctor right now. I'm talking to the doctor, I think. Oh, perfect. He seemed totally fine. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> what? The stuff is I've been reading in Chinese. Oh, God. So that's totally fine, patient. So that totally fine, patient murdered his counselor and escaped. What a lovely fucking story. Any problems with the system? Yo! This dude looks like he gets all the beach. Yeah. Look at that face. Yeah. He looks hot. He looks like he's pale as fucking full with jaundice, but yeah, he's fine. He's not full of jaundice. He just starred in the latest Twilight movie. <laughs> he's. Yeah, he, he played Edward. Actually, he does kind of. <laughs> He does kind of look, look like that actor. He does, he does look, look like McCullen. He, he like he looks like Robert Pattinson, but like with it with a, without a Why? beard. How? <laughs> what the fuck? Why do I feel like, dude? Why do I get the feeling that this game had a dub? He, this guy would be voiced by Yuri Lowenthal. <laughs> he looks like he would be voiced by him. One hundred percent, or at least Bryce Patton. Look. I know, I'm more Yuri, but yeah. <laughs> oh, you know what would be cool? If they made a third game, they could work with Telltale for, the, for it. They could. With their Japanese developers, so they probably wouldn't. Uh, no, they have... No, Sid 51 has his ways. I mean, for fuck's sake, when he made Lollipop Chainsaw, he managed to work with James Gunn, of all people. So he has the chance. They'll probably end up working with Unsoft. Nah, that's not, that's not likely. It's more Telltale, to be honest. Any problem? Any problems with the system of management? There are only two security guards present. I don't think there are any problems. Can hey. I get you in your car's extended warranty? So you got two amateur ass around a cops on a crazy serial killer. That's basically like begging him to murder someone. Edward has an all right jawline. We judge Edward's jawline here. Kamui Uehara didn't have the capacity to take care of itself normally. I looked to give him sponge bath. <laughs> yes, extreme. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to do this seriously. Fuck <laughs> me. Yes, extreme. Yes, extremely debilitating mental disorders. He didn't go to good school. He idiot. Shut up. <laughs> I don't know if this is too racist or not. It's your <laughs> fault. I'm having fun with this. You're fine. What? You're good. Don't worry about it. You're fine. It is not currently possess a capacity to kill or hurt anyone, except for those damn Chinese. <laughs> you know, that's fucked up, actually. That's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm just making a beat between the Indians and the Chinese in this city. Yeah, but you should already know, because I remember a while back, India and China had a bit of a scuffle a while back. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not... It's not... It was, it was only a border dispute. They took too, ma too many steps forward. No yeah. one's hurt, thankfully. So it's all broken down? That's a prejudiced viewpoint, and I'm the Indian one here. There are cases which are not directly limited to mental breakdown. Linked to mental breakdown. I said, oh, I said linked. <sighs> well, whatever. So the main point is Kamui's not here then? Thank you, Doctor. We appreciate your cooperation. I get it now. I get it now. Oh, fuck, I lost the voice. Hey. Extended warranty. I get it now. Some detectives really can be somewhat difficult individuals. <laughs> I love how they activate that voice. I have to say the words extended warranty. Shut up. It's true though. Just like on TV. This was fun. 
<sighs> Same here. Guess there are crack doctors. I <laughs> guess there are crack doctors every team. I'm not huh? racist, chat. I swear to God, this is just for fun. I like. I'd sure like to be a personal physician. Anyway. Ah, that dick just won't shut the fuck up. Is he uh, the doctor? Yeah, it's like, well, it's sort of your fault. What an asshole. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty rude to him. Don't make me call my friends in... Wait, what's the capital of India? I don't know. So, who the... <laughs> oh, New Delhi. So, who the fuck is this guy? And sitting here the whole time. Fuck it. Creepy. He's a sole survivor from the special forces. The only am unknown. No registration found. Found signs of it having been deleted. His code name is Masana. Sounds pretty sketchy to me. What a the fucked theory up. helps all the death note case. What a fucked up story. I come in contact with him before a cauliflower. Oh, you mean that chinchilla? You're saying only he came back alive? Wait, we were the only one that got out of there? I think so. Hold on. Fuck, I'm tired. I'm back. Hey, I'm assuming you heard all that. Yeah. Man, I'm not some is currently in the ICU. I know. I know. That's me, he isn't gonna die. That dude looks like the most tired cop ever. Yeah. You're not some May, remember? Oh, yeah. We'll go over the plan one final time. Target all points bulletin, K1597783636. Our goal is to bring Kamue Uihara to justice. Alive. Or in alive. The target is thought to be armed. We don't know what sort of weapon. Armament level zero. Z. I'm like making up letters in this dialogue. What the fuck? Am I hallucinating right now? Yes. Bring him in. We're capturing him with a Z level armaments, then why? Save your dumb questions for later. That one was intentional. I'll continue. But. There are or These are orders from up top. Just follow them. Just as no, he starts bleeding from it. Just an aneurysm. He didn't even know he had. <laughs> Don't think. Keep your shit together. It's like I'm watching an episode of The Boys. <laughs> Got it, man. Well, I'm voicing him. No, of like the dialogue. Okay. That's a big ass satellite. I need a satellite. According to the satellite tracking data, the target doesn't seem to have left here. Lure the target to point GF03 and secure him. I'm assuming this isn't that long. The game? Mm -hmm. Well, it's a VN, so. They Those should. PS1 games, though. So they're probably long. Like, I looked it up. Clean game... everything up. Like, I looked it up. Uh -huh. Apparently, the game is like 15 hours long. I gotcha. Clean everything up within the 100 Oh, hours. never mind. They're 23 hours. It's 23 hours long? Yeah. So, technically, if we were just do a 24 hour stream, we could finish what we're never doing that. Um, Unless we get really a lot of subs. 
Dude, I'd never, ever have the time to do that. Unless I lived on my own. Yeah. I mean, I can leave you to that. I'll do it. It's just expecting a lot of noise. That is all. <sighs> About the armaments. Do it, do it, do it. Okay, uh, JK, I would love to, but I 100% could not. Just my schedule will not allow it. Yeah. I could just pop in on, if Shinigami did it, I could just pop in for like an hour or two. A few times during it. Yeah. That could work. What is it, Sakamoto? What was difficult to bring him in alive? Then we fucking kill him. I mean, uh, our main goal is to bring him in alive. Yeah, that's what I said. We? <laughs> that was a pretty good fraudulent slip. We're gonna find ourselves at an extreme disadvantage. This plan needs a guaranteed unit survival rate of 60% in order to be approved. Fill in the remaining 40% yourselves. That's the only character I won't make jokes with. Got it. The voice just doesn't allow it. Depending on the situation, I may join you. Good luck. Wait, so is that a flashback to why he's in the hospital? I think so. Inamata, chill out. It's only one guy. It's be no problem. Right? Their military outfits remind me of the Korean ones. Well, they're Japanese, so maybe. Because my dad was in Korea for a while, and pretty much all troops over there have, like, the outer jacket, as you can see. Yeah. Like, my dad had it, but it was more, like, American style, to where it was, like, almost like a fishing jacket, almost, but, like, heavily layered. I've worn it before when I'm, like, doing out, like, backyard yard work, and it's fucking warm, dude. <sighs> like a Matsuda. This guy has wiped out his emotions. Don't equate me with him. Freaking frigid bastard. You're not supposed to wear other people's military stuff, but I'll wear it from time to time when I'm doing housework, like, outside. So it doesn't gather dust. Then fucking control yourself. Otherwise, you're just gonna die. Die, huh? I'm gonna die? Just me? No Mata! You're not cauliflower, you only, got, only I got shot. Some regular civilian citizen. A little punk bastard. Because you underestimate the power of crime. Even a normal citizen, if this is how to hunt a person who's high enough, has the power to commit a crime. It can be even tougher than us. Get that right. It's confusing me. What are these things that they're going after? Are they just like sleeper agents or these zombies like ghosts? They're criminals. But why are they all fucked up? Question. My guess is that remember in the beginning of the game, it describes the world as a dystopian society. I'm assuming the main theme of this is like criminals aren't to be considered human. Yep, that's pretty much it. It's like the moment you commit a crime, you lose any and all respect for your humanity and considered a a wild animal essentially. No, that is some psychopath bullshit right there. Yeah, where it's like, oh, you're a criminal. Okay, then you're not you're not gonna be treated as a human at all. You're gonna get shot until you're dead. I like the concept of psychopaths, but I can never get into it. I don't know why. Inamata, you're bested in terms of that power. It's impossible. You can't. You need to have more criminal power than the target. Disposal is the same as crime. Just hunt the target. Keep that in mind. I can't lose. I think of it as a hunting. As hunting, I can't be beat. You ever watch It Invaded? No. Basically, in that show, it's kind of... They basically go into the criminal's head and unravel, like, a puzzle or a labyrinth in there, and they are able to, like, piece together the crime perfectly. But it's... you can only do it if you're a serial killer. It's the same as training. As far as the ability to secure a target goes, in Nomada, you're better than anyone. The ending kind of sucked, but the rest of the show is pretty good. I know. 
Okay. Ready to Masuda. I mean, low level drug deal or low level drug drug offenses. It's like, yeah, whatever. Mass murderers and pedos. Yeah, those guys throw them in a noose. Chief, where are you to go? Also, I'm talking non-violent drug offenses, not like, you know. Okay. Turn your radios to channel two. We'll move on my zero count. Execute the mission. We'll enter formation once we find the target. Sakamoto, you move ahead until we find the target. He loves making Sakamoto take me. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pass out. My body is starting to get really tired. Is there a save point? Uh, after a bit. Maybe when we start exploring. Wait, they said we could save at any time, though. And it looks like we're gonna explore. Look at that. Alright, guys, they're gonna end stream here because I think I'm gonna pass out. So for all those that enjoyed the stream that are new, I really appreciate it for you sucking up and sticking around with this little visual novel of ours. And maybe if you guys want to, we'll do it again. You want to do it again sometime, man? I sure it's just fun to record. Yeah, because, like, not gonna lie, this game's story is actually really good so far, right? Yeah, it is. I want, this makes me want to get back into Stein's Gate on my end. Yeah, so think about the mystery in this game is so good. With Stein's Gate on your Oh, I think I got an idea. Um, we can take turns on doing VNs. Um, you can do signs again on your time, and then we can do this game on my time. That works. Yeah. We have to pick days, though. Yeah. Well, you can probably do it. You probably have more days to pick out from. I can only really do Saturday. I got you. Yeah. Alright. For those that enjoyed the stream and that are new, I really appreciate you subscribed and liked the stream. For those who are watching after the stream and made it this far, I really appreciate you subscribe, it would be awesome, and you'll be chats for it. Like the video if you would stream if you enjoyed it, and leave any comments for any nice things you want to say about me, or any things that I annoy you about after, uh, during the stream. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go pass out and go to bed. Also chat, also comments, tell me what book, VN, or uh, visual novel, or uh, podcast you listen to. I like uh, finding your shit. Also subscribe to this man, his YouTube is Japan Lover 79 and his TikTok is what? Pan Lover 79. Yeah. And Basically, you can find me anywhere with this username. Just, uh, yeah. Alright. Have a good night, God. Kadawa Shoujo. <laughs> I would love to, but YouTube and fucking. I do. No, I would love to record more of that. But here's the problem because of its setting and the fact that it's borderline 17 year olds involved in, like, risque situations. YouTube and, uh, actually, no, they're seniors, they're 18, they're high school seniors, but still, YouTube and, uh, YouTube and Twitch are like, no, I mean, I can turn the sex off, but it's kind of important to some chapters, especially the chapter with Emmy, so that's, no. Yeah, anyways, have a good night, guys, bye-bye. I could always record those. We could always record. I could always record those myself, post it, and see what, how it does on YouTube. But I want Shinigami with me, and he's not really a fan of that novel. Yeah. Anyways. Good. Uh, probably not gonna happen. Good night. Bye bye. Good night.